Bien. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for connecting to this uh, webinar session. I welcome you. I'm Sandra Reyes, a uh, member of LACNIC's uh, team. Before we start with this webinar, let me tell you that uh, we are going to address two topics. The first part will be the uh, activities that will take place at LACNIC 42, LACNOC 2024. The presentation will be by uh, Laura Kaplan, um, the Development and Cooperation uh, Sector, and Carlitos Martinez and Jorge Villa. So the second part, we will discuss the policy development process and some proposals that are going to be discussed at the event in the hands of uh, Franco Cabrera and Marila Rocha of the policy team. So before we start with the first part, let me tell you briefly how we're going to work so that you can make the most of it. We are going to have some tenuous interpretation into English, Portuguese, and Spanish. You will find uh, the uh, booth uh, in um, um, clicking on the globe of your toolbar and uh, you'll see the q and a panel because we are going to leave 10 minutes at the end of the presentation so that you may have a chance to ask questions and we'll answer those questions at the end let me also tell you that the webinar is being recorded and we're going to share the recording with all of you in our website later on in the chat i will give you the link so that you can have access to it that's all i wanted to tell you and now i'll give the floor to laura laura thank you sandra thanks a lot welcome everybody it's a pleasure for me to um, uh, present this space that is what can i find at the lacnec event this is a space well, what I will try to do is to convince you if you've never been to an event and to, to encourage you so that you will join us on October the 7th in person in Asuncion, Paraguay, but, but that you may also follow online. So, if we were in person, I would ask who has never been to a LACNIC event? So, remember that question. Those of you who have never been there, you'll find uh, some background information. And if you are familiar with the, the event, you'll learn more about what we expect to happen at this event. So, let's get started. What is the LACNIC event? Well, the first thing that we must say about it is that it's the most important uh, and most relevant internet uh, conference. It's a regional event, it's an internet event, and it's a, a conference that will include a lot of elements that we're going to discuss uh, throughout our presentation today. In addition, it's a space for encounter um for the advanced technical training it's hands on we find all the uh, tec technical community working in the construction of our uh, uh, in capacity building and relations and we get together to learn and to come home uh, with all the relations that we gained <laughs> It's also an advanced technical training space. We have hands-on discussions, uh, network operations, security, uh, number resource management, and, and hands-on, so that we will learn not just the theory, but we will practice with the speakers who will give the tutorials. In addition to training, we'll debate on standards, policies, new technology, good practices, all the topics that have an impact on the development of the Internet. And why do we say that it's a platform for debate? Because it lasts five days and we have times when we have tutorials, we learn, but we also have spaces where we have speakers. 
We have experts on different topics that present sometimes research or studies or work or sometimes operations topics that they're working at and we open space for debate. We have panels with the different experts that debate on the same topic and all that happens during that week. So, if I had to imagine everything I've just told you, how can we find it? What are the key tracks that I'm going to find? First of all, we have the tutorials, as I just told you, the hands-on training on IPv6, interconnection security. We're also going to have a hackathon, a DNS hackathon that's going to start on Monday. We are going to have Half the agenda will be shared with LACNAC, that is the Network Operators Forum for Latin America and the Caribbean. And in that space, we're going to see many technical presentations by experts and uh, speakers from uh, not only our region, but also coming from uh, beyond our region. There is a debate on uh, policy. We're going to have the Public Policy Forum, where we're going to have the discussions of the policy proposals to update the policy manual that is what rules what how we handle the uh, resources um then we're going to have a, a meeting to discuss the challenges of the internet in the country in the host country and we're also going to have a lot of social and commercial networking because we have specific spaces to promote relations networking such as uh, socially, and the welcome cocktail and the social event, we're going to have a, we're going to exchange uh, t-shirts that's going to be in the afternoon. There's an online tool that is called Connecta to get in touch with people that are at the event, either online or in person. And we also have a commercial networking because there's a trade show. We have booths of different sponsors that will tell us about their services and products. So let's uh, now let's uh, see uh, our agenda. As you open the agenda, this is the way it looks today. There may be some last minute changes, but this is today's agenda. So as I told you, it uh, the event lasts five days, starting Monday the 7th and uh, finishing uh, on Friday the 11th. And here we'll see the structure in general with colors to identify the topics that have more to do with training and others that have more to do with contents, either presentations or spaces for debate. This is the overall structure. This is something that you will find at the LACNEC website. So I won't give you the details, but I wanted to discuss uh, a couple of um, things that I'd like to highlight in, for Asuncion. On Monday, we are going to have tutorials. I see that there are questions in the chat. Let's see. There. Sorry. There will be tutorials, one on IPv6 only, another one for secure um, routing ten trends, that's for Monday, another one for managing resources, and especially we get to talk about the security module. For those of you who are attending the, the webinar and are LACNIC members, I remind you to participate. We have the people of the registry uh, service, and they're going to discuss resource management. And we're going to have uh, the Hackathon Lacnic and the Hackathon DNS that starts on Monday. Work is going to unfold uh, the entire week, but it starts on Monday. Tuesday is a day when I recommend you to be available all day because it is when we officially open the event. We have an opening panel. We're going to discuss a topic that also relates us to uh, Paraguay connecting a uh, sea lock uh, country. And we are also going to discuss something that we have discussed since the last event, and that is the satellite connectivity in Latin America. There's going to be a meeting that we'll call Meeting on 
leadership and transition in LACNIC that was duly announced. This is a transition time because Oscar Robles will no longer be the CEO of LACNIC, and this is going to be in the hands of the president of the board, and Oscar is going to present together with the next CEO. Ernesto Majol, it will be an open session so that everybody can learn about uh, the times that we are going through. Then we start with LACNOC with um, an IPv6 uh, panel and uh, um, keynote uh, uh, conference on the impact of IPv6 in the future of internet. And in, in parallel, we have a workshop on the governance of the internet. This relates to other things that have more to do with governance, with the way the internet works, and not so much with the technical things discussed. Uh, so depending on uh, what you need, we, these are good alternatives. On Wednesday, we have the Public Policy Forum, and I won't tell you about it in detail because Franco will tell you what it's all about and what will happen there. And we're also going to have a session that is called Session in Paraguay, Present uh, and Future. If you are local participants, I especially recommend you to attend this because we're going to discuss things that are currently taking place in Paraguay. It, this doesn't mean that only people from Paraguay can attend, but it's going to be very interesting because we're going to be discussing firsthand some of the challenges that Paraguay is experiencing. And in parallel, we have the first uh, conference. It's a security conference that uh, is on Wednesday. On um, Thursday, LACNOG and other technical things. We also have a tutorial on internet measurements. And on Friday afternoon, we have a LACNOG session. And then we'll have the closing ceremony as well as a working group on internet measurements, which will be giving specific information on measurements. So these are the highlights if you wish to take a screenshot. And otherwise, you can look this up in the agenda in the link in the website. And now allow me to give the floor to Franco who will be specifically explaining what the policy development process is and what will occur during the policy forum at LACNIC 42, LACNOG 2024. Franco, over to you. Thank you, Laura. Good afternoon, everyone. Like Laura was saying, I will now explain briefly what the policy development process is about. This process is a collaborative and process which is open to the community, and the objective is to create and modify the policies applied by the RIR in its region. This process begins by identifying needs on the assignment or the use of number resources in the internet, for example, IPv4 and IPv6 addresses and ASNs, and based on that, a policy proposal is presented, which is then submitted to discussion. Now, how does the process take place? There is an open list for discussing policies, and we have the public policy forum. These are the two options. The forum, the public policy forum, takes place during the LACNIC event. Now, the important thing about the process is the concept of consensus. What is consensus? Consensus is a measurement that the chairs have to determine whether a proposal is accepted or not by the community. It is important to highlight that consensus is not determined on vote based on voting, but it has to do with the acceptance of that proposal. Now, who are the chairs? The chairs are individuals elected by the community to have the role of the chair as chairs of the policy development process. We have two right now, Nelly Marcela Orbiskay and Sergio Rojas. So this slide shows several stages. These are the stages that describe the policy development process. As Laura was saying, on the Monday of the event, there will have be several tutorials. One of the tutorials is an interactive workshop called How Does LACNIC Manage Your Internet Resources and How Can You Influence That Process in that presentation. 
I'm not going to describe all the stages now, but during that tutorial, we're going to be explaining the process. So we invite you to participate in this tutorial. Now, to summarize this, the policy development process follows the following steps. The idea comes up, it is shared, and then consensus is reached. And finally, implementation of the policy takes place. Now, what are the policy proposals that followed this process, which will be discussed at the next forum? We have two policy proposals, namely, these and the other proposals can be viewed in the website, but let us look at the details that are being discussed right now. The first one is LAC 2023-7, which is temporary transfers. And this allows temporary transfers in addition to the already existing definite transfers of IPv4 under specific conditions for each type of transfer. And the next one is like 2024-4 called Log of the Special Reserve of Assignments of IPv4 Addresses for Critical Infrastructure. This considers publishing the log of the micro assignments, the recoveries or returns of the Special Reserve of IPv4 Addresses for critical infrastructure as to mitigate the potential of false IXP requests. So these, the full text can be read in the policy proposal link. Let me explain how you can access then this policy system. You go to LACNIC's website, lacnic.net, and at the top where you see participate, you can click on policy development. And under this section, you have a menu on the left with several options. You can click on policy proposal. This directs you to another site, which is a policy system. This can be viewed as follows. The link is the one you have here on the screen, politicas.lacnic.net. You can use the available filters, the proposals that are under discussion, proposals awaiting implementation. But in this case, you can filter by policies that are being discussed. So you can check the details of these policies and then take part in the policy development uh, forum on Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you, Franco. Let me clarify something before we go on. The policy development process is an open process. This is an open where you, anyone from the community can participate. You didn't be a member of LACNIC. Anyone from the community can register in the discussion list, and you can then read these two proposals and participate in the forum, whether in person or online. In person is during the meeting in Paraguay. Now, Carlos Martinez has the floor. He'll be explaining more about LACNOG. LACNOG. Uh, Carlos, you have the floor. Thank you, Laura. And thank you for joining us today. I'm going to tell you about this space in the agenda, which is called LACNOG. The LACNIC event in Asuncion can be viewed as two meetings that take place together. LACNOG is an organization that brings together the network operators of Latin America and the Caribbean. NOG is Network Operators Group. This is a style of organization that has been in place for quite a number of years now in the United States and in Europe, although they have different names. But these groups of network operators are great spaces for exchanging experiences and learning. The second event of the year, the event that takes place in October, is when LACNOG holds its event together with the LACNIC event. In Asuncion, LACNOG 2024, we'll have sessions during three days on Tuesday, Thursday and on Friday. And without going into the titles of the presentation, which you can check out in the agenda and the website, we're going to be discussing IPv6, cybersecurity, infrastructure, RPKI, ANYCAST. I will be speaking about ANYCAST. And then as a recent incorporation, we'll be speaking about community networks and also about the Internet of Things. In general, LACNOG's talks 
And this is a wonderful task that Jorge carries out. I don't know if he's still with us. He was here a while ago. Jorge tries to organize the topics, the, the talks in thematic areas. For example, the ones on IPv6 are put together in the same space so that you can, as participants, organize your time. This is not always possible, but as far as possible, we try to do so. So I'd like to you to bear with us in that sense. Now, these are some of the highlights for the LACNOG 2024 agenda. We have two keynote speakers. One is Silvia Hagen, who is a Swiss engineer. She has a very vast experience on IPv6. She has also published a book, and she'll be making a keynote presentation calling IPv6 paving the way to the future of internet connectivity. And by those things that are amazing, Silvia has a strong connection to Paraguay. I think Silvia even has a real estate in Paraguay. So part of her heart is in Paraguay. So she is very happy to be with us in Paraguay. The second guest is Jan Sors. He also has a very vast experience on the topic of DNS, DNS and an IPv6, and we'll be sharing the scenario with him, and we'll be speaking about DNS Anycast, but also Anycast in general as a technology. We also have a couple of more guest speakers, and I'd like to highlight this especially, one by Benoit Clairs, who will be coming hand in hand with the initiative, the IETF, IETF is somehow trying to figure out strategically how management and operations of the IETF networks should be carried out. IETF conducted an exercise in 2024 where many of the technologies that are now well known uh, came out of these exercises, so they would like to reconsider that topic. And then Andre Robacheski will be speaking about manners, ten years working for secure routing. This has had a very strong impact, and somehow these uh, topics that lead us to rethink things and how things should be evolving. We have 15 presentations that were submitted by the community. We'll have two panels, one on death by DNS. I will be moderating that panel, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to one of the panelists. And we also have on community networks, which is a very interesting topic. At least I find this a very interesting topic. And specifically what I was saying, we try to group the presentations by topics. We have one block in the agenda dedicated specifically to traffic exchange points. This is, once again, a topic that over the past seven to eight years in our region has grown in terms of interest and in traffic exchange points that are active. So I give the floor to the next speaker who will be following me. Thank you, Carlos. I encourage you to think of questions because after the session, we have a Q&A session. So if you have any questions on policy development process for Franco or on what Carlos shared with us regarding LACNOG's agenda or what I explained about LACNIC's event. So now I would like to share with you the information as to how you can participate in the event. We already explained what will take place, but how can you participate in the event? Well, first of all, to participate in the event, you have to register and here you have the link, which is lacnic42.lacnic.net, and then you have a section on how to participate. First, you have to register. You access site and register. Registration can be because you're going to be there in person or because you will be participating remotely. Online participation involves no cost. If you go there in person, you have to pay $300 registration fee, but there are some who are exempted 
for example, if you are a company that is associated to LACNIC, so there are a series of criteria to be exempted from paying the registration fee. And the preparatory activities, this is one of the activities that is in that context. Then we had one that is on IPv6, IPv6 only, which we had last week. And don't worry if you can go to the IPv6 only workshop and you wish to participate in the tutorial and wish to follow this online, you can do so by registering online and participating remotely. For those who will be in Paraguay, will be at the venue of the Conmebol. It will be all about football or soccer. We'll be having an activity where you can exchange your shirt from your country or from your favorite team. So that will be part of the networking activities we'll be having. Now, how can we participate if we wish to do networking? We have an app which is called Conecta. Once you register, you can register and participate online or remotely. You can access the app Conecta. You can connect with other people who are at the meeting and arrange meetings or send messages or emails or then meet in person somewhere or in a Zoom meeting if you cannot go personally. As I was saying, this is an event that will be streamed through Zoom events. So this year is the summary. This will be a hybrid event. It will be streamed through Zoom events. There will be virtual interaction through the Q&A in the Zoom. And some of the and, sessions uh, have yeah, open so mic, have so you can questions speak and directly. Some of the sessions then there is a to link to the mic, networking the tool to connect, to connect that. The networking For those of you who wish if you to, want to log, log on. In. And, and let me remind you um, the hashtag LACNIC42, LACNIC 2024, is, uh, if you wish to participate um, uh, in the social media. LACNIC42 and LACNIC 2024. So thank you for the time, for your attention, and uh, we are ready to listen to any questions or comments that may have arisen today. So we have several questions. The first of them is by Sebastián Saavedra. Sebastián says, good afternoon. Can we register on Sunday? Yes, yes, you can. What time does uh, the register mean? Um, you can uh, register um, uh, starting at 4 p.m. And uh, Laura, this is a recommendation, right? That those that are on site uh, should go and register on Sunday. Yes, if you are there, um, uh, you can uh, come uh, to the event and uh, we'll be open since uh, 4 p.m. at the convention center. So we had another question, but um, it's already been answered. So, well, good. Let me invite you to uh, the tutorial that uh, Franco mentioned. Um, how does a LACNIC manage your resources? As part of the policy team, I invite you especially. But of course, I uh, endorse everything that Laura has said. We have no more questions so far, so I think that's all. Well, excellent. Well, I want to thank everyone uh, that participated and we'll be waiting for you. Bye. Bye-bye.